The Caterpillar on-highway truck engine for decades was the benchmark for performance and reliability in trucks, tour buses, school buses, as well as motorhomes and RVs. While at one time making roughly 40% of on-highway diesel engines, at the year 2010, cats stopped production on their on-highway engines. But why is this? In this video, we're going to be discussing why Caterpillar got out of the truck on-highway business. While Cat had been making truck engines for decades, we need to go back about 25 years ago to the early 90s when the engines such as the 3406B as well as the ubiquitous 3208 were still in production. These engines were being phased out in place of engines that would use an ECM, an electronic control module. This would help troubleshooting as well as performance of the engines. These engines would be the 3126, the C15, C13, C7, C10, and 12. This allowed the technician better troubleshooting capabilities as well as tighter emission and fuel economy standards for these engines as well as updates to the gear train, the valve train, as well as the injectors, and the wiring. All engines now used electronic injectors. This allowed more advanced combustion and reduced emissions and increased fuel economy. Most of this, while industry standards, was being pushed by the EPA. Here is a chart of the EPA standards at the time. You can see that they have gotten tighter as the years progressed. NOx reduction as well as particulate matter reduction were required, especially being tight from the year 2007 and on. While CAT first got around NOx reduction with the use of IVA and VVA technology in place of EGR technology, they also added twin turbos to their heavy duty engines. They also added variable geometry turbos to their C7S. This then led to the use of DPFs in 2007, as well as the Ardhead, which the Ardhead cost CAT a lot of money in warranty repairs and failures, as it roughly fails about every one to two years and is fairly expensive, almost $1,000 to get replaced. This led CAT from the years 2007 to 2010 to market share decreases as customers were less happy about the performance of their regen engines, which were the 2007 to 2010 models. Now there were many other changes at the time in the years 2007 to 2010. As you can see, CAT stock prices dropped with the housing crash. Also, fuel prices were skyrocketing at this time with the dollar price per barrel being over a hundred dollars per barrel. Now CAT being a large company, they had many stakes such as the construction industry, mining, marine, electrical power generation, as well as the truck engine. Now smaller diesel manufacturers such as Cummins and Detroit Diesel had much smaller stakes in the market. Most of their focus was on truck engines. So what was CAT to do? Well, they decided to make their own truck, the CAT truck. And this is a CAT truck here, you can see. And this model came out around 2012, and it did not sell very well. And there's a very good reason for that. The reason is it doesn't actually have a CAT engine in it. As you can see, this is a Bosch fuel system. It's Bosch Electronics. This is actually an international engine with a cat valve cover on it. Uh, these trucks had tons of problems with wiring harnesses, uh, constant check engine lights, parts availability problems. They were a mechanic's worst nightmare. Now you may have heard that there was a cat engine they put in some of these. Yes, they did produce a CT15, which was based on the C15. But these are fairly rare, and they did not sell very well, and they did not meet emission standards. 
Now the CT-15 was a hybrid between CAT and Navistar and not a true CAT engine. CAT stopped production of the CAT truck in 2016. Now, the unsuccess of the CAT truck, as well as CAT's focus away from their own emissions technology, the industry itself was changing. Peterbilt, Packar, the parent company of Peterbilt and Kenworth, had decided to drop the ability of engine options on their trucks. This meant if you wanted a new truck, you were forced to get either one of two options, a 13 liter or a 15 liter. Neither of these were CAT. Also, you couldn't get a Detroit anymore in either of these trucks. You were stuck with either a Packard engine, 13 liter, or the Cummins, very popular, ISX 15. This meant that CAT, while once owning nearly 40% of the market, had basically been left out in the cold. And mechanics and drivers who love these CAT engines, well, they are now older. Every day they are getting slightly older, and not much can be done about this. The market has changed. However, if you would still like a new truck with a CAT engine in it, there is an option. Glider kits are available, such as these from Fitzgerald, where you can still get a new truck with a CAT engine. These engines are not new, however, they are rebuilt, but they still have a full CAT warranty. I hope this video helped explain why CAT has gotten out of the on-highway truck engine market. Thanks for watching.